everyone. So I thought today that you guys would enjoy seeing a tour of my studio. So let's get a quick just panning shot around the whole thing. And then we'll go back and look at some of the details. Now the one thing you'll notice is that I am pretty neat and organized. And I like to keep everything clean and it's in its, in its place. So starting from this side, uh, this room that I've uh, decided to use for my studio is technically a bedroom in my house. So I've procured the closet. And starting over here, you can see these are my boxes that I keep all my pastels in. Uh, this is my main set. And then uh, most artists who do pastels, when they get the sticks, they break them in half and save half for later. So this is my main palette and this is the other half of what's in here. And then up here I have uh, some more stuff for doing pastels, towels, a tray to hold it, uh, these extra ones here. Then I've got some tiny canvas panels up here. Then moving down here, in this part of the closet, I've got more canvas panels to paint on. And then in my little handy dandy drawer thing here, and the first drawer is drawing materials. So there's pencils, charcoal, graphite, erasers, stuff like that. Second drawer is pens and ink and uh, any kind of pen type drawing markers. Then we've got uh, miscellaneous uh, goods that I might need, extra stuff, that little brush to brush away eraser. Uh, thingies and then we've got in this drawer a tube ringer, canvas keys, q-tips and pads for wiping away paint, uh, a thing to open a paint can with here that you can see. Uh, then down in here we've got uh, my uh, reference photographs that I use sometimes to paint. And in the bottom drawer this is extra tubes of oil paint for my uh, plein air paintings. So these are the ones that I take with me on the go uh, and that, these are the extra ones um, if I run out of paint in my bench easel. And coming around up here in this side of the closet, I open the doors over here, I put this shelf inside the closet and this is my all my still, li my still life objects or my still life library I guess you could call it. So all the objects that I use to arrange my still lives, I keep in there and they're kind of grouped by similar types of stuff. And then down there in the box is some cloths and draperies I can use for backgrounds. And coming around here, this is my easel. So this is the main easel that I paint at and you can see the window there. I've got that covered so I can control the light in here. And there's all my brushes and my mediums and my box of paints that's currently in use. And then here's my palette sitting out here. Now this is a uh, air filter that I use for my studio to filter out dust and thinners and solvents and things like that. Uh, and usually when I'm painting what I'll do is I'll pull out this drawer in the easel here. Uh, I've got some paint stored in here. Uh, I'll put this board down and then I'll put the palette right there so it's down in front of my painting because I like to I don't like to hold my palette I like to have it like a tabletop in front of me so that's usually how I'll do that when I paint and then down in here in this cabinet is some more uh, paint in here in this drawer I got a lot of oil paint and then brushes and extra brushes in here in case I need more that are not up there and then my thinners and varnishes in there. Now down here underneath is, this is where I store all my pads, my bound and spiral pads of drawing paper. There's watercolor paper under there, uh, sketching paper, stuff like that. And then over here is a main uh, working table. So I've got a large area here where I can lay things out. I can do cutting. I can do, um, <clears throat> you know, any kind of... Uh, if I need any kind of big flat area to work in, that's there. And there's my spotlight that I use to illuminate my still lives. And down underneath here, uh, this is uh, large storage units I got for storing flat paper. So there's drawing paper in here, 
uh, other kind of pads, uh, watercolor paper, pastel papers down in here. So that stores big sheets of like 18 by 24. Over here is uh, another shelf I put up. Uh, now there's some of my travel sketchbooks and extra pads that didn't fit over in the other bins. And then a pencil sharpener, paper towel holder. And I've got my little smattering of watercolor supplies here. I got some brushes and a little palette. And then down on this side, I got another two of these drawer things I got from Target. The top drawer here is my watercolor paints. In the second drawer is gouache paints. <laughs> I probably have too much stuff. Uh, this is scissors, rulers, cutting knives, all that kind of stuff in there. And then drafting stuff. And then I got some more extra, like whenever I see a tube of oil paint and I just want to try it, to experiment with it, that ends up in there. <laughs> you got some more down there. And then... Those are big brushes for doing gesso, sandpaper for sanding. And then at the bottom here I have scraps of paper for if I need to test uh, different kinds of paper, I keep the scraps for as test scraps. Now over here in the last bin, there's all of my uh, stocked up oil paint that's, now these are you know the professional colors I use on my palette. So this is where I keep the stock that I buy ahead of time, it's all in here. And in this drawer too. And then this drawer has uh, mediums, varnishes, um, these jars I can mix mediums in if I need to. And then the, there's more of that kind of thing uh, down here in the last drawer is the primers for canvas, uh, a couple of um, like alkyd mediums in here, uh, and then uh, gesso and stuff like that as well. So. Uh, that's a basic little quick tour of my studio. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed. I got some Halloween decorations up there. Uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing uh, everything that I have and how I have it organized. And I will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and click on that subscribe button so you won't miss the next video. And why not spread the joy? Be sure to share my videos on your favorite social media. Don't forget to head on over to my website, walcottfineart.com, where you can see my art, read my blog, or when you join my newsletter list, you can win free art. Every month, I'll choose a lucky winner for my email list, and that person will receive a mini original oil painting. There's a chance to win every month, so be sure to sign up today so you don't miss out. Plus, you'll get my fun newsletter. See you next time.